How do I look? Very handsome. You okay? No, I went down like an old lady. I really hurt my knee. There was this nice guy that helped me, though. Is he good looking? I said that I was never going to see this movie because it was just too close to home. It was too exposing. I mean, not just obviously, you know, maybe nudity or what have you, but emotionally, it was exhausting. And Adrian is a very exacting director, and he wants you to go beyond your comfort zone. She's sitting on a train, and she's remembering the first time that she's she's had sex with this man, with the lover, and and you see the entire scene reflected in her face. You see her her guilt, you see her excitement and laughing and crying all at once. And when an actress can give me that all at once, it, it's in, just, just in, incredibly exciting for me. And it's the sort of film I want to make. But... I use my experience of my own life on the movie, but I don't use the experience of movies in my own life because it, it might become very confusing. I know who I love in the, li in the real life and I know who I love on the screen. And it's not the same. Ultimately, everything that I work on in terms of myself is about responsibility. And it's about even the thoughts that I allowed to start spinning. Because even the thoughts spin universes you know, that you have to be responsible for. So ultimately, again, the, the movie's about responsibility, growth. It's tragic, but it's part of the life and we need to face it. Desire. Pressions and temptations are always there. The problem is, uh, for some people, it's more complicated than for others. What is your capacity to resist of your own desire? Women are gifted with the ability to not be able to separate their emotional life from, from their sexuality. Um, and that's why it's, it's you know, riskier. It's not just big things like this. There's a big thing, but even little things eventually become big as they resonate through the universe.